I'm gonna take off these shoes, okay? Your girl's kinda cute today. Kinda cute today. Next day, I'm feeling When you log on, say what's up. Post, post. Congrats on your bestseller. Thank you. Oh my God. I am hot. First of all, I'm an international bestselling author. Who'd have thought my battery's down on my speaker? I'm traveling right now, so you know, technology, it does what it do. It is what it is. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys. Hey, everybody. It's a lot of light. Hold on. Kind of too much light. There we go. There we go. We need a look. There we go. Kara got to get the lighter right. What's up, guys? Hey, what's going on? So I am here in beautiful San Diego. If I, didn't, if I wasn't scared, I would knock over all the tripods. I would um, show you guys the golf course. It's beautiful. Are you still at Speaking Right? Yes, I am at Speaking Right. So I'm here in San Diego at Speaking Right to Make Millions. I'm excited. I love this event. I've sung at it for the last, I think, three or four years now. And... Um, Lisa Nichols, the amazing Lisa Nichols and her amazing staff, um, Susie Carter, who is her COO of her company. Um, um, those two are freaking geniuses and they are, you know, just leading everybody to greatness, teaching them how to get their books out, how to get their messages out, whatever their business is, no matter if you clean houses, you still need to have a conversation. They teach you how to take that conversation and get the message out so that people understand what you were committed to. So people understand your vision what what so literally I'm here in California uh, in, in San Diego and I am on their live stream hosting live stream teaching about social media and the things that I've done on social media that have been a success and I am also singing uh, three times a day at this event as well as I am running my CEO stylist uh, mastermind and giving you guys these free um, free videos, free classes. Hopefully you're doing the homework. Listen, I promise you, I promise you, if you do this work, you will be amazed at what you discover. As a hairdresser, you are so freaking powerful. As a makeup artist, as a esthetician, as a beauty professional, even if you worked for Mary Kay, the rules don't change, right? The beauty industry is, is a gift. I really think it is a gift because you get to pour into people as well as pour into yourself. And so I'm committed to changing the lives of at least 75,000 hairdressers, changing them into um, just changing them from technicians, not just working on the, on, in the business, but working on the business. What does that mean? That means I don't want you to just be in it. I don't want you to have your head down the entire time and you're working, but you're not monitoring what's happening, truly monitoring. Remember, we've been talking about all week doing a pulse check. I don't want you to just be behind the chair or doing your massage or putting on the makeup and not paying attention to the business because the business is something that you actually have to run. Who would have thought? Why didn't they give this part to us while I paid $17,000? for beauty school. So the conversation is about being a CEO minded hairdresser. Hey Allie, my angel. Mwah. So being a CEO hairdresser, hairstylist, makeup artist, the being the CEO, let's just break that down. The CEO controls the direction of the company. So you're not only in charge of doing the skill that you're good at, you also have to manage a business. And managing a business is where hairdressers, I hear them all the time, they'll say, I was in hair, oh, that's not for me. That don't work for everybody. Oh, you were born with it. Oh, this, oh, that. And it's just because the business got overwhelming. And you started with a fire, with a passion. You were excited. And then you were just working on the craft. So you're getting haircutting classes, makeup classes. You're doing all of these things to better your skill but you're not sharpening, you're not sharpening or conditioning your business skills. And so some of you guys don't even understand that you are a CEO, that you're in control and that you can paint a life that is barely recognizable. I'm proof. Hey guys, I see you guys saying hi. I love when you guys speak. I love when you guys step in the room and you speak. Thank you. 
And so I've started a movement. I want to get this message out and I am going to die empty with all of my messages. But the message right now, the message for today, the sermon for today is that you are the CEO and you control the direction of your business and your life. And you are in business so that that business can give you the life that you love. Okay. Yes, we want to serve people. Yes, we want to. I just want to help people. And yes, it sounds really good. But when you really get you got in this business because you're passionate about it. Hey, Siobhan, you're passionate about it. And you want to live a life where you don't have to stress about rent being due. You don't have to stress about understanding how to do a budget. Because I did. I know what that feels like. You want to be able to just up and travel. You don't want to have to wish about that anymore. Right. It, it, it's 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 crazy. All of the things that we have to constantly be working on. I actually love it. I love doing self work. So my message for you guys is that we've been talking. So listen, if you're just joining, there's a lot of content that you haven't heard yet. But the best part is it's on replay. You can go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Lakeisha Michelle, or you could just scroll Facebook and look at the replays. But we've been going through a series of conversations so the first thing somebody if you've been on the live stream somebody tell me what was day one about what was day one about day one was all about vision i see you guys thank you yes i did i did i gotta relax there yes jennifer gray you should get into the ceo stylist seriously that's a lot of space um, and there are salon owners in there, so you're going to have community. You should totally inbox me. Inbox me. Um, there we go. Jasma, Jasma says vision. Thank you, Jasma. Vision. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. I see you guys commenting vision. So, guys, your vision needs to be huge. Your vision needs to make you nervous. Your vision needs to be large. Listen, your vision. I love it. Congratulations, Gianna. Your vision needs to compel you to something outside of your comfort zone. So for me, I was like, let's just, let's come to the present. My vision for the CEO stylist scares the crap out of me because I'm like, how am I gonna make this happen? Oh my gosh, people are gonna think, I, like I always, it's always, what do people think? What will people think? And really I wanna impact 75,000 hairdressers and more, but we'll start at 75,000, I don't know how. And I want to get this CEO stylist message out. I want to hire teachers to, to just keep it going. I want to start a movement, schools in different states, live events. I want it to be massive. And it's not because about me. The message that you can literally design your life. But first, you got to have a vision. Because if you don't have a vision, like we learned in day one, you're welcome. Like you learned in day one. Hey, Misty. If you don't have a vision... How do you know where you're going to end up? Listen, vision needs to scare you. It needs to get you out your comfort zone. And it, is it, is it, is it, it isn't a want. It isn't a hope. It isn't a dream. Your vision needs to be specific. Not like I don't know. Because some of y'all going to be like, oh my God, I don't know what I need to do. Not specific to where you're going to get OCD. And your vision may change. But it needs to be something that scares you outside of what you're doing. So if you currently make $30,000, your vision, your goal for next year could be $80,000. That's like, oh my God, that's a jump. How do I make that happen? You need to have, and that's just a small thing. That's like, a, that's small, right? That's a small piece of your vision. But your vision needs to stretch you. My vision to touch 75,000 hairdressers, bring them into entrepreneurship, let them thoroughly understand how a business runs so that they can change their lives, so that they can be behind the chair and impact their community. Because that person, if they're empowered and they know where they're going, everybody that they meet, that empowerment is going to rub off. And then those people, it's going to rub off when they go to work, when they are a mother, when they're doing, so then we get to change people's lives because we're changing our own lives. That's my vision. I can, I can see like images. It's not all the way clear. I don't know the how. I don't care. I'm not tied to that. What I am tied to is that I will touch 75,000 minimum entrepreneurial hairdressers. Like I'm going to take you guys and dump this business on you so that you literally, I want you to know and learn everything to where you can turn around and teach the class. 
Like I'm committed to getting the message and the information to you in a, in a simple way. I hate when you go to a class and people try to speak over your head and they act like they're better than you and you don't really, you, you can't connect the words because things are different. This is not a language that we speak as hairdressers. And so I'm committed to getting the message out in layman's terms, that means simple terms, so that you can take it and go take action and change your life. So that my vision is to empower the hairdressers. And then after I'm done with my hairdressing world, I'm gonna just empower women all over the world. I get to do actually do it both because I mean, things are international now. So, so my vision is to empower you. How will I do it? Through events, through, free, th through live streams, through my music, through books, okay? Through coaching programs. There's a, multi a, multiple, uh, a multitude of hows, there's a bunch of that, right? But I'm very clear. So when somebody brings me a project, I'm, it's, easily for, it's easy for me to say that doesn't align with where I'm going. That If a man come in my life, you don't align with what I, the life that I'm living. Because guys, here's the thing about a vision. The vision for your life, you're a whole person. So everything, day two is about self-discipline. Everything you do needs to align. So once you have a vision and you're, and you're thinking about how you want to, what mark you want to leave on this wonderful world that we live in. People try to tell you that the world's going and we all about to die. You're not. Hi, you're alive and you're looking at someone on digital, on freaking live stream. Like you're connecting. We're getting more technology and things are getting better. This is the best time to be alive. This is the best time to be alive. So listen, once you have a vision, it is so, so good because it governs everything. So many people know the scripture, right? Everybody knows the scripture and I'm not religious, so don't get it twisted. So many people love the scripture. Without a vision, my people perish. We quote it. We be proud. I know it. But do you understand the depth of that? Like, yo, without a vision, it's not that you, 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 do you want to wander aimlessly? That's like jumping in a car and saying, I'm going to Arizona. I've never been there. Well, I've been there, but I've never like, I don't know how to get there without Siri, right? But that's like jumping in the car with no Siri, no GPS, no Garmin, no map, no nothing, but you going to Arizona. You just going to be like all over the place. But if you have a vision, if you have a map, if you have a GPS, you smooth sailing, you cut on little Bruno Mars and kick back. And get to the get to the get to right so listen you have to have a vision that is, that is clear and it needs to compel you to do something bigger outside of yourself do not get stuck in the how will this happen don't worry about it do you think that lebron james said how am i going to do this do you think that michael jackson said how am i going to do this like they just said i'm committed to being michael jackson i'm gonna be the greatest at all times i'm committed to that now listen, your vision is what you need to stay committed to. The how part will change. You'll go through bumps, bruises, falls, rise, fall, rise, rise, fall, go sideways, diagonal. But as long, you'll get there. Don't worry about all of that. The twists and the turns, the stoplights, the red lights, the green lights on the road. Don't worry about that. So that's day one. Day two is about self-discipline. When you have a vision, your vision needs to impart, like it has to make you want to align yourself Right. So what that means, if you are a hairdresser, you're if you're professional. And let me just use my favorite example. If you are a woman who wants to get married and you look like something scary every single day, hair all over the place, got your little slave plaits everywhere. Just looking a mess. Right. But you're like, I'm waiting on my husband. Your husband ain't finna find you, boo. And then you might find somebody. But the guy that you want, you got to prepare for that ahead of time. You have to prepare for where you're going before you're there. And so it requires self-discipline. Serena Williams had to, she had to prepare for everything we see that we get to like, oh my gosh, she's amazing. That was years, hours, countless nights, sleepless nights, long days. That was so much work, so much self-discipline, so much conditioning, conditioning of the mind, conditioning of her muscles. She had to do so much work. So in order to Get to your vision. Your self-discipline starts now. If you are not in a salon, if you've just started and you don't really know where to go, you don't get the self-discipline and you don't get the vision. You don't get all of that stuff after you get to where you're going. Some of you guys have been sending me messages going, oh yeah, I'm gonna get to that information when I figure out my mess right now because I can't pay my rent. You have to look past your current circumstance and your vision is outside of your comfort zone. So 
guys, think about it. I moved to California with three months rent and no plan. But my, I, I was so committed to my vision. I felt the, I felt the knot in my belly, and I was like, I gotta go out here. Like I don't, I, like I'm not. I gotta go out here. And look, I, like literally, I can't even believe. I'm so grateful that I did. Now I can go home if I want to, right? I can work from anywhere in the world now. Literally, I'm going to be in Spain for three weeks working and having a blast. I can work from anywhere in the world. I'm not tied to one place. I had to follow the the the, the rumble in my stomach, the th the knot in my. I had didn't ha I didn't have all the pieces. Okay, so guys, your vision is going to make you be self-disciplined if you really want it. Your vision has to be strong enough that you want. It doesn't need to be something that you're forcing. It needs to pull you. Your vision needs to pull you. Your vision needs to compel you. Okay, and then your self-discipline. What are you doing daily to align yourself with that future? So if you say you want to be the greatest this or the greatest that, when did, how does that start? If I want to be one of the world's best singers, I don't vocal rehearse the day before the show, the week of the show. I vocal rehearse every single day. If I want to be the world's best athlete, I don't work out right before competition. I live a life of fitness so that I'm always prepared. Okay? So that's vision in parts of your self-discipline is what's going to get you to the vision. Because if you don't have self-discipline, listen, you want, you want clientele, but you always late. Oh, oh, you've been doing hair 20 years. So you, you, they owe you this. They owe you this. Like I'll be there when I be there. But then you wonder why your book's not full. You want clientele, but you forget to rebook because you think, oh, I already know how to rebook. But then you don't do it and you don't, your books aren't consistent because you simply didn't impart the self, di be disciplined enough to ask for the rebooking. It's so simple, but so many people that I coach go, oh yeah, Keisha, I know to rebook. You know it, but are you doing it? Are you doing it? It's the self-discipline. Okay. So everything, discipline, it literally, your life must align with your vision everything in my vision for i know the kind of cars the private jets i understand my life where it's going i'm not concerned of how i'll get there because things will happen things will change but i do know where i'm going so i do know what kind of friends i can't i know what kind of man i can't have i know what kind of girlfriends i can't have i know what kind of people i just don't need to be around because people will suck your energy up so i understand who i can't be around okay i guard i guard all of this, all of this good, good energy, it's guarded because I'm clear on where I'm going. So guys, you have to be very clear on where you're going. And you may say, well, I'm a hairdresser. How does this? Listen, hairdressers, the reason why things don't connect is because you're so bogged down in the overwhelm, the financial stress. I don't see how I'm going to figure it out. You have to remember that as a human being sitting in your chair. And in that moment, for that hour, for that two hours, you're with them. You are pouring into them. If your head ain't right, how do you pour into someone else? You don't. There's a disconnect. And guess what? They're off to the next person because they're not connected to you. But if you understand the power that you have as a hairdresser, that you actually can change someone's life. Oh, my gosh. Like you go to work with a different you have a different walk. You have a different talk. You're there for them. You're connected. As a result, you're paid well. My clients don't even ask me what the price. They just sit down. I, I don't even do hair anymore. I have a few people that I do because I teach an online short hair school. So I have to keep my chops up, right? And so I have like five people that I do for fun because hair is fun for me. I love it. I'll probably do it for, I literally was just backstage, just got through singing. And my girl was like, Keish, I need my hair, my curls fill out. And I'm like, I got you. And I just did her, I'm backstage doing hair. Not because of anything, that's my homie. I love the craft. And I love the connection that comes from sitting with someone else and pouring into them. Hairdressers have to get their mentalities right. You have to get your vision clear and, and be self-disciplined because hair, there's nobody checking you to see if you're on time. There's nobody checking you to see if you're giving that client every little bit. If you say that you're committed to empowering and changing women's lives behind the chair, but then you shortcut a lady on a protein treatment, you're not following the vision. When someone's in my chair, they get all of me. I give them 
everything that I know. I educate them on how to maintain when I'm not around. I give them the products. I send them home with the proper retail so that they can maintain because it's in my, I need them to be empowered so that they, when, when they go and be, they're a mother, they're, they're out in the, some mothers gotta be fathers. You know what I mean? Like whenever they're putting on their makeup, whenever they're in the boardroom, whenever they're in the world, they actually get to show up and, and it's one less thing to worry about. If you're teaching your clients how to do makeup, it's one less thing they have to worry about when they're, when they're in their corner of the world being a mother, a doctor, a wife, a brother, whatever. So guys, we're powerful. We do Rihanna's hair before she goes on stage to make sure there's one less thing she has to worry about. You're important. You are needed. You have to get out of your own way. Okay? So guys, I know some of the vision stuff is like a lot of people like, whoa, I never thought about it that way. But it's so, so true. I've been clear on this and that's why I've had success because I make sure that I'm always so present with my customer and I serve them. And, I, and everything I do aligns with my vision. So my customers don't get janky pr salon products. My customers don't get janky salon environments. My customers don't get me coming in looking like crap. If I do hair at 5 a.m., it's not an excuse because it's early. I don't have to put on makeup. No, I show up to work like, good morning. Hey, just like this. They be like, Keisha, where are you going? To see you, girl. That makes them feel good. They go, oh, wow, she thought enough about me. She got dressed. Like, no, it, it sounds silly. Because some of you guys, if you do hair in the morning, you think it's okay to show up, you know, half dressed. Come in, rush. You got to go stop doing hair. Go, go take your baby to school. Go back. Like we're all hair. Most hairdressers are so caught up in their own crap because we're artists and we're flip flopping and we're all over the place because you're not anchored to the, that vision is so anchoring. It will anchor you and it will impart self-discipline. You will, it'll, all those things will come up. Oh, I need to probably do this. Oh, I probably should. Oh, I probably should. And then you start aligning your life with your vision and the business will give you the life that you want if you're committed, okay? So listen, we talked about self-discipline. We talk about um, vision. Let me pull up. I hope you guys did the homework because it was a lot. Day two was all about when you don't have vision, you don't have self-control, but when the vision is in front of you, you know, it tells you what you should be doing, okay? Vision will attract people. Your self-discipline will attract people. That's why we were talking about Michael Jackson and all these great people that we admire. We are, we are attracted to this person because they've just been able to do some amazing things. Why? Because they're self-disciplined, okay? So day three was about looking at the business and understanding what problem you solve. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Thank you guys. Sh thank you for hearting the video. Share, like, thank you guys. Get the message out. Get the message out. So day three, day three was all about understanding what problem you solve. Because if you're just sitting behind the chair day in, day out, hoping that you can do the next person's hair, hoping that you can give them a result that they want, hoping that, you know, hoping this. Don't hope for success. You can plan for it. Thank you, Michelle. I love you. I, I love you. So listen, don't hope for success. You can plan for it. You get success when you become a problem solver. You get success when you become a problem solver. I'm going to say that again. You get success, whatever success means for you, when you become a problem solver. So day three, I asked you to go and see what problem do I really solve? So for me and my business, Things were all over the place. I was doing well. I, I've been, I'm blessed enough to know how to do a lot of different types of styles and stuff like that, right? But the problem I was really good at solving that made me happy as well. Because listen, remember on day one, we talked about what in your business do you love, like, and are no longer ready to talk? Like you were sick of doing it. You're sick of it, sick of it, sick of it. I asked you to do that for a reason. When you look back at your business, what's the favorite problem that you know you know how to solve? And if you don't know now, don't panic because all you got to do is figure it out. What do I know how to do? It could just be blow drying hair. Do not discount blow drying hair because hello, the lady made $40 million just going to go blow dry people's hair. She's created a $40 million niche. Okay. 
You're welcome, guys. I love all these grateful messages. Thank you, guys. I love it. I love. Thank you. Welcome, BB. Listen. Knowing how to just blow dry hair made this lady a forty million dollar empire. I don't know about you guys, but if I had to do it again, I would stick with blow drying. <laughs> Listen, you don't have to go try to be the next Vidal Sassoon. You don't have to go try to be like be you. Do some self reflection. My favorite thing I've heard in my heart. God is so good. Oh, God is good. Y'all love y'all. If you don't know me by now, love God. I might cuss you out. I'm just saying. But I do love God. <laughs> I know that don't match with some of these religious folks. I, ain't, I can't be worried about that. But, like, I was in my head one day. When you're in your head, you hear all that negative chatter. So when you're in your head, you're like, I'm not good enough. Or, oh my God, I don't have this. I can't do this because I need this. And I'm going to go get this. Oh, I just need this. You have all this stuff. So-and-so said this. And what if they don't like this? And blah, blah, blah. Right? That's the self-chatter that's in your head. But guess what? I was in my head, I'm getting a massage, right? And I'm trying to relax, but I'm just so freaked out about all these things that are happening. And I heard it so clear in my heart. What is your truth? What is your truth? What is your truth? And when I heard it, I was kind of like, hmm. It just was like right there. And it just set and I kept hearing it. And, and, and some of the thoughts started to go away, some of the worry, and I just started thinking, well, dang, what is my truth? Truth is, I know what it feels like to not pay your rent on time. Truth is, I know what it feels like to sleep on somebody's floor. Truth is, I know what it feels like to be able to hold a client as you cut her hair off because she just found out she's got cancer and the only thing you can do is speak life into her. Truth is, I've made it through abuse. Truth is, I've made it through the, the negative self-talk about being adopted. Truth is, I've overcome people, stuff, things. Truth is, I've taken my mess and made it my message. Truth is, I've taken a negative bank account and created a business. Truth is, I did it scared. Truth is, I still do it scared. Truth is, I took no money and just some YouTube skills and turned my business around. Truth is, I made six figures in Dallas. Truth is, I blew through six figures in Dallas. Truth is, I moved to California and ran away. Truth is, in less than a year, I created six figures again using the same techniques. Truth is, I still have people that I've created YouTube channels for using my YouTube strategies. And they're still getting customers years later. Truth is, I've helped clients transition from one state to another and build their business up again through a multitude of strategies that I have in the CEO stylist. Truth is, I understand business. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. Truth is, I don't have to wait till I get a college degree to teach you what I know. That works. It works. You can drop me in any city, I will come up, period, point blank. Not because I'm a hustler, but because I understand business. Truth is, I'm good at it. Truth is, it's time for me to accept it and share it with everyone. Truth is, I'm enough. Truth is, I'm strong. Truth is, I'm empowered. Truth is, I love myself. Truth is, I want to change women's lives all over the world. Truth is, I'm going to do that. I am doing that. Truth is, I'm the bomb. Not because I'm cocky. Because I know whose I am. So in a moment of weakness, in a moment of doubt, I stand on him. So what you see is not me, it's him. The energy is him. Truth is, I got this. He got this. So we got this. So it's all good. Truth is, that's why I'm here talking to you today. Listen, you can start from the bottom. Yo, it works. Everything that I teach in the CEO stylus works. It's not made up. It's, it's literally concrete business facts and it works. I'm just here to push you and just remind you that you got to do the work. So I would beg you to go back and watch day one, day two, day three. Do the work, getting your vision.
Answer the questions. Yo, answer the questions. What am I good at? What problem do I solve? And if you don't know, I, was, I wanted to go live yesterday when I was in the Mac store and I couldn't because the signal was messed up. But I'm in the Mac store and I'm watching this lady at the makeup counter. And everywhere I go, I posted on Facebook the other day with you guys. I said, there's money everywhere. Hairdressers, beauty professionals, there is money everywhere. It flows. It's everywhere. I just walk around and I see money. I be having to keep myself focused because I, I literally be wanting to jump back in the game just because I see money people ain't getting. Oh, man. If I could just walk around, I could walk around. Anyway, like there's money to be get, right? So I'm at the Mac counter and I'm watching this lady. Let me show you how you figure out what problem you want to solve. First of all, you got to get off damn social media and get out and see real people. Be around people. Hairdressers love to hide behind, wait in the salon for a client. Hairdressers love to just kind of like, you know, hide behind all these tricks and stuff. You do the social media work, yes. But what works better and first is getting out and having conversations. You don't have to be me. You don't have to be someone else. You have to be yourself and be committed to your vision. Understand why you're doing this. So let me get back to the story at the Mac store, looking at this lady. She's at the counter. She's like, it's products everywhere, right? She's like, oh my God. And so she's talking. And we just started, we were laughing because we both were buying way more than we came in to buy. And I'm like, first of all, somebody needs to, somebody, Mac is not the only makeup provider. Somebody, somebody watching this right now needs to go start a makeup line. Oh my God, eventually that's on my to-do list. But I was like, okay, that's not right now. I had to stop myself because I know somebody that can make me a makeup line. And I'm like, oh, like, that's so much, that's some money revenue. Somebody need to go do that. Mac is not the only place. This place is popping. Women everywhere, they all got questions. The best place for you to be is beauty supplies and, and makeup stores. Guys, you have to, this is, so this, today I'm gonna just give you how to get what your market needs. If you don't know what problem to solve, listen to the market. It will tell you the market was right there in the Mac store talking to this lady and she's just rattling off and my brain is going crazy because I just hear, problem after problem after problem and I'm like I know the solution I know the solution I know the solution literally if I had a makeup line I wish I could have sold her everything that I had if I worked for Mac and got a commission I would have sold everything that they had but it was all I was doing was having a conversation she was like I just have 10 minutes in the morning and blah 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 instantly I heard the product I was like there's the commercial think about this guys let me break this down I know I talk all over the place if you had a makeup product if you're not a makeup artist, just act like this is hair, switch the things out. You have a product. You need to make a video. Okay? You need to make a commercial. You're going to be making posts on social media. You're going to be having a conversation with the person. Right? So I'm in the store. She's talking about this. Instantly, I took her sentences and I was like, she just said she only has 15 minutes in the morning. Okay? But she wants to put on makeup. There's a problem. She only has 15 minutes. She wants to put on makeup. Everybody she's looking at and finding on YouTube are doing these two hour tutorials, one hour tutorial, two long tutorials. So she was like, I, it's just too much. What do I do? I was like, oh my God. If I was a makeup artist that really get like, I mean, I do makeup and yes, I'm a makeup artist, but if I really want to just be a million dollar makeup artist, I would literally go for that market of women. Let me show you guys. This is what I did in my business. Go for the market of women who are, they're professional, they're corporate, they're wives, they're in their you know late 30s, between 60, 30 to 60, I would say really 40 to 60. People forget about this group of women because everybody trying to be Kim Kardashian, but there's a rich working market of women who are looking for professional CEO stylist and they're looking for you to get them in and out, teach them techniques, get them the products that they need. They're looking for education. See, some of you guys are so thinking just only I do makeup or I do hair, but you're missing so many other revenue streams. I teach my clients how to do their hair and they pay me to teach them that. And guess what? They still come back on a regular basis. I teach them how to put on their makeup and they still come to me to get their makeup done. But for that moment, like that lady said, I just, I don't know how to, I need, I need a 10 minute tutorial. I was like, Ooh, that's a commercial. Take those words. I, I challenge you guys. The homework today is to get out in the market. Take the words. Go, go talk to women. 
Go talk to women. Hang out in the beauty supply store. Hang out at the Mac corner counter. Listen to what people are saying. Because because if you don't know what problem you solve, don't worry. People are always talking. And they're always talking about what they want to see. Think about it. You, it, It's not hard. You just have to be open and you have to listen and, and know when you should be like, I'm always out taking notes. I'm so inspired everywhere I go. This lady stood next to me and talked about how she wanted to literally do her makeup in 10 minutes. She wanted to understand how to get the dark circles from under her eyes. She was like, oh my God, which lipstick looks right on me? But why is my hair frizzy? Like she went from one thing to the next and I'm just listening. I'm like, look at all these problems. If I literally sat there in that, in that store and gave her a solution to every problem, would she or would she not do business with me? Would she or would she not do business with me? Could I at that very moment say, ma'am, this week only I have this gift for you. Would you like to come in and spend some time? I'll get you in and out back to your family this week only. Here are the times that are available. She says, no. Okay. I love talking with you. Can I text you my information? Can I text you and reach back out with you? I know you're busy. I'm not going to stalk you. Would she or would she have not done business with me? It's not hard. Some of you guys think that it needs to be hard. Yo, when you're committed to your vision, I know that I empower women. Anytime I see a woman, they got a problem. I have to be putting my blinders on because I have to focus on the projects, right? that I have lined up, but I'm like, ooh, that was money. It was so much money in the Mac store because everybody needed something. And the people at the Mac counter were so tired of being at work. They were like, mm. Meanwhile, I'm like, money, 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 money. The people in the Mac store was tripping. I told a girl, I said, you need to get my book, the CEO stylist. I said, because even though you work for Mac, you could totally start a whole educational course for a woman like that. And every time they come in there, you use Mac products, but you teach an educational course. And that is your business. That's your business. She was like this. Oh my God. Yeah. I never thought about that. Yeah. You're waiting for something to change. You're waiting for Mac to promote you. You're waiting for something to change where you go, Oh, I don't have to work in Mac anymore. Create the change. First, you got to get a vision. What do you want? Life will give you whatever you ask. What do you want? Your voice, you, your thoughts, you create the future. I'm literally getting so sensitive now. I'm, I don't even want to say stuff like, oh, I'm dying. It's going to kill me. I don't even want to make jokes like that anymore because my words have literally been coming too true. So it's like, okay, I'm really, I have to be careful. I have to check. I'm human. People get on my nerves. So I'll get mad. Y'all know I rant. If you follow me on YouTube, I will rant in a minute. <laughs> will rant and pray for you in the same sentence okay but i'm getting i'm like oh wow life will give me what i ask so how about we start asking proper questions how about we take the fear release the fear take the limits off of of yourself take the limits off god because he get everything on the conveyor belt waiting to get to you but you got too much stuff you trying to get all these blessings but your conveyor belt got all this stuff your blessings over there meanwhile you just got all this stuff just built up and it's just stuff Get the stuff out of the way and just be open. And if you're thinking open and you're and you're ready to receive and you're having a positive conversation with yourself and you're tied to your vision and you're self-disciplined, you'll just your antennas will start working. I want you guys to literally be out this week. Homework. Homework. You guys know I love homework. I want you guys to literally be out this week listening to the market. If you don't know what problem you solve, and here's the deal, if, you, if you're in business and your clientele isn't the way that you want, you don't get to say, I already got clients. You get to survey your clients, even the ones that didn't come back. Don't take it personal. If they go, some of y'all get mad when people go other places. Don't, that's not personal. Listen, a client is a client when they sit in your chair. They have the right to do whatever they want. I need you to get on the phone and talk to them. What, what keeps you up at night about your hair? What problems are you having? That what, what do you wish? What's your ideal hair life? What's your ideal makeup life? What things do you, when you're getting dressed, you're like, ah, I wish this could be this way. Ah, I wish. Ah, like I love when I'm with my mentor, Lisa Nichols, and she's getting dressed because then I can hear what she needs. So I'm helping, I'm doing her makeup and stuff, and I'm just, you know, helping her get whatever, ready for stage. And literally... I hear her when she's doing, like when I'm doing her makeup or when someone else, she's like, oh, that's the part. 
That's the part. And this is a million dollar lady, right? So think about it. If I create a product based on the problems that she had, could I not turn around by listening to her problems and use that languaging in my sales video and go launch it to other million dollar women that I know and sell a product? Could I not? Yes, I could. I've done it. So listen. This is why I'm sticking on what problem do you solve? Because some of you guys aren't clear on what problem you solve. Someone told me yesterday, yeah, I just kind of go to work and hope the next person, hope I can do what that client asks. You can't do business that way. That's stressful. So first of all, I need you guys to really, because I know y'all probably haven't done it, go back and look at what you're really good at. If you don't know, figure out what problem you know how to solve. Okay? So listen, that's your homework. What problem do I solve? How do you find that answer? Survey your clients that you've had in the past. Call them back and say, thank you so much for being a customer. If they haven't come back, don't be salty because it's okay. Ask them why they didn't come back and don't get connected to anything other than the facts, what their truth is, and be done so you know what to correct. And then ask them, what can I have done to get better? What problems are you having that I didn't solve? Not because, ma'am, I'm trying to win you over, but because I want to know if I know how to solve the problem. I'm just trying to better my business as a CEO of my company. Okay, so I want you guys to get clear if your clientele is not consistent, if your clientele is not consistent, if you are not making the money that you want to make, trust me, I'm going to get into what we're going to do with the information that you find out. If you guys go do the work, I got something else for you tomorrow. Okay, but if your if your clientele, if your finances are not the way you want, it's because you're not clear on what problem you solve. When I got clear on the problems that I was really good at solving, boom. In less than a year, back to six figures in a city that nobody knew me. That's my CEO formula. But first, I need you guys to get clear on the problem that you solve. Okay? So if you don't know, look at what, you're, what you do. Some stuff you can do without even thinking about it. If it's just blow drying, then that's really, that's a problem that you solve. If it's hair cutting, for me, I know how to cut hair so that you don't have to have your hair curled. So for me, I was, sorry, as a plane. I was really good at articulating that. I knew what to say in order to attract the client, who, particularly a black woman, who was tired of having to get her hair curled row by row by row. I ain't with that life. I'm a busy CEO. So I knew the problem. You need to be able to mold your hair and rock out. So, okay, I'm really good at hair cutting. Oh, boom. I'm, I started asking my clients, what do you love? That's Akeisha. I love my hair. My curls fall. My cut is still cute. So then on all my videos, I went back and said, I know how to do your hair. That so you can just walk away and rock your hair cut. You can run your fingers through it. Black women, it's real good when a man can rub. I love a man rubbing his hands through my head, okay? In the black community, that's like you can't really touch my hair. I'm tired of that. I wanted to change that, right? That's a problem. So get clear on the problem you solve, okay? That's your homework. Guys, there are 12 slots left. If you guys have been enjoying this, there are 12 slots left to my private group where I go deep into everything that we're talking about. I teach you how to figure out, you know, what problem you solve, how to create the videos, what you're saying, how to go out and have the conversations that turn into cash. Literally members in my group, after they do what I say, they come back and say, Keisha, oh my God, I just had, I'm on the spot, just signed up clients, on the spot, just got building my email list. Another lady yesterday was like, I just realized I'm booked for two weeks. She said in my whole, I haven't been booked for two weeks. All this time I've been doing hair. I wasn't booked up. So I have a set of strategies. We go through a four week process in the CEO Stylist Mastermind. It's a private group. It's fun. It's a community of hairdressers, a community of hairdressers that are all over the world, right? And we come together and we share strategies. And I, I'm telling you guys what is working, what has worked, what will work for your business when you work it. If you're interested in that, if you're interested in that, I need you to reach out to me. Okay? I need you to reach out to me. There are 12 slots left. This is not a trick or joke. We start class on Monday. Each week, we go over detailed deep dive class we have live class every monday at night it's so fun it's so informative there's so much work to do we unpack your business and we go through where you are where you want to go and we come up with a plan of how you get there marketing plan not a generic marketing plan i deep dive with you guys 
You have access during the week to ask me questions. After you go do the work, you say, Keisha, here are my numbers for the week. Keisha, here's what I'm doing. Keisha, overlook this. What do you suggest? I'm not doing the work for you. You do the work and then I look at it, right? But every week, every Monday, I'm teaching you a strategy so you can figure out what the hell is wrong with my business? How do I fix it? Who's in for, who wants to fix their business? Colleen says, I can't wait to start. I'm so glad Colleen joined. Let me welcome some, wait a minute. Let me welcome some Cynthia, Angela, Raquel. So Angela Oliver, Cynthia Seaman, um, Constant Nevels, Trina James, Colleen, I hope I'm saying your name right, Kylene Murdo. I'm messing up some names right now. Uh, Kat Bishop, Nicole Binion. You guys, welcome. There are 12 slots. Someone else that I haven't got on here is, is just signed up. So the way that you join, guys, very specific. I, I will talk to you and make sure this is a decision that you want to do. Join scared. You're going to be like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I don't know. You're going to have feelings and doubt. You're going to be like, can I trust this? Is it going to work? I've taken a million classes. Let me give you guys some of the rundown of what we go over. In week one, we unpack your current business. We figure out where, you, what level you're at. So we can know what you should be focused on. Because as hairdressers, we have shiny object syndrome. We want to do everything. So in week one, we figure out what you should be focused on, right? Week two is all about marketing, converting prospects into sales. That sounds fancy, but it, you go get your money back, first of all. And you get a skill that you need to have for the rest of your life as long as you're in any business, no matter what business you're in. Okay? And so week three, we cover money. We talk about money in depth. I tell you when you receive the money, what accounts to put it in, how to allocate the money. Okay. We talk about budgets. We finally, there's so much clarity in week three. Everybody was crying like, oh my God, I've been trying to figure this out for my whole life. Cause it, that's how I felt when I understood money, like understanding money made me literally, I sold my dream car because I realized I got it too prematurely. I wasn't at a stage in business. That wasn't a smart investment. Could I pay the bill every month? Yes. <laughs> yeah. But was it smart? No. The information that I give you will allow you to make decisions like that. To better yourself so that you can get your money, your six figures and beyond and actually see it. Everybody has, listen to me, you have the ability to do six figures plus, period, point blank. Every single person in the beauty industry has to. There may be some adjustments you have to make. You may have to move. You may have to step outside of your comfort zone. You may be a black um, hairdresser that, that is doing white hair. Okay? You may be a white person that's doing black hair. You may be Asian doing black hair. There may be some adjustments, but you have the ability to make six figures. There are going to be some things that you have to do, but you can do it. Trust me, you can do it. It's not, it's really not hard, guys. I, I know if you're thinking like, oh my God, somebody told me I just want to make 60,000. You got to stress that. But I understand because of where she is now. You can do 60 plus. Everyone can. I'm not saying that because it's a scam or, or it's whatever. So listen, week four, after we, there's so much homework during each week. So not only do we do a live class, but there's a dialogue. We are having conversations. We are talking about where you are and where you want to go. Through the week, throughout the week, you're going to see that you're not alone, that everyone is experiencing all these different things just like you. And you're going to be able to feel supported, right? And I give you the tools and the resources so that you can change your life. Week four, we sum it all up. I give you a sure fire way. Hi, Cherie. I give you a sure fire way. It's sure. I'm telling you, this is a sure fire way. Sure fire way of how to take everything that we cover and get exactly what you want from your business. You will have strategies that will teach you how to fish. Okay? I can give you some fish or I can teach you. Thank you, Kylene. Thank you. I love it. Thank you so much. So guys, this course is 30 days. It starts this Monday. Literally the value of this course is 997. The value of this course is 997. I am Opening, we have 12 slots left for 367. Just an investment of 367. You will be able to be watching the replays if you can't make the live class. You will have the replays. You can watch them because you're going to need to watch them over and over and over because they're so good that you're going to like it's like, and it's so much you got to watch it until you can like regurgitate it, till you can spit it back out, until the, till the, till the, until the information becomes your DNA. 
So listen, it's an investment of 367. I know, thank you so much, Melva. I know that a lot of you are in places where you're like, okay, I just pay rent. I just did that. I just, I get it. But this is that thing that you have to go call somebody, kick through the mountain, jump over the mountain. I get it. Yo, I was sleeping on somebody's floor buying coaches and classes and books. But now I don't have to do that. The things that you want are always going to be outside of your comfort zone. They're going to make you nervous. You're going to be like, is this a scam? Somebody asks, is this a scam? And I just laugh because I'm so sure. Well, like I said, my truth. I'm giving you my truth. I'm giving you facts. I'm giving you business in layman's term. And for us ADD hairdressers, this is business for us. So we can understand that we are in control and we can have the life that we want. Okay? The way that you sign up, there are 12 slots, guys. We will sell out of this. Sold out last round. People were all sending me messages the day after. People were sending me messages the day after. And we sold out. So the way that you... I need you guys to inbox me on Facebook or... Inbox me on Facebook or email LakeishaMichelle at gmail.com. Very simple. And I'm going to make sure this is right for you. We'll hop on the phone. We'll have a conversation, okay? There are 12 slots. This course will help you get your business on track. How many of you guys want to save your business? There are nail technicians. There are people with no clients. There are salon owners in the CEO Stylist Mastermind. There are people who are just getting started. You, some people are just like, there's every level of stylist. This is for every level. So no matter where you are in your business, you can stop and apply these principles. I think it's even more powerful to start your business this way. If you start your business this way, you're going to be in freaking, you're going to be amazing because it's a surefire that this is not like a, like something I made up. These are, are tested, 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 tested things, right? So hold on one second, y'all. So email me, LakeishaMichelle at gmail.com. And I want you guys to inbox me on Facebook. If you don't want to go to your email, just inbox me on Facebook, facebook.com slash LakeishaMichelle. Send me a message and tell me you want in and I'll give you more details. I'll, I'll give you if you need to see the rundown each week. Some of you guys got to talk to spouses. Some of you guys, listen, 367, that's four clients. Go work that out. Go find four people and let them give you that money. The sheer stylist I am too. Let's see. Oh, you guys, that's a lot of comments. I love all the comments. Who you guys are on fire. You guys are on fire. Will the video be saved? I know a whole lot that can learn from it. Yes. Yes. Um, so once the doors close, it'll be closed um, for whatever the next time. I don't know the next launch will be. I don't. It's not a trick. I don't know when the next launch will be. So there are 12 slots left. Um, if you are a member, you do get to watch the content over and over and over. I go live in the group all the time and we get to just, I share, I share everything I know. I pour everything into you. I want you to win. I want everybody to win. I'm not a stylist that thinks that, you know, I just want to make my stuff and make money off of you. No guys, I paid $17,000 for beauty school. And this is the part that was like, I needed this. Beauty school was a wonderful investment. I'm, I will never regret that. But listen, you got to invest as much in your personal development and in your business development as you do in this in the tech, technical skills. OK. I love it. Jennifer Gray, email me Lakeisha Michelle at Gmail dot com. I would love to support you. Colleen, I cannot wait to just meet with you guys. We got some juicy stuff on Monday. Gianna, congratulations for graduating. What up, Styles by Nikki? Oh, hey, boo. Okay. <laughs> hey, you're going to be my coach when I transition to being a stylist. I love it. I love it. Jaquita, I would love to have you. I thank you guys for congra from congratulating um, Gianna. That's so awesome. I love you, Lakeisha. Danny here from ATL. Your channel is motivation and informative. Since I've been taking your tips, I've gained 50 new clients and introduced another stream of income. Hello. Since I've been taking your tips, I've gained 50 new clients and introduced another stream of income. Guys, come on. You go. You go. You go, Danny. I love it. Sunshine says, I'm taking notes. I just got my own salon. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. Heart that up. Like that up. Heart that up. Hey, guys. Hey, Shonda. Hey, Tiara. What's going on? What's up, Erica? You're so right. I'm going full throttle with being self-disciplined today. I love it, Erica. I love that. Erica said she's going to implement her self-discipline today. I love it. 
Girl, I can almost cry. You are so spot on. Listen, I be crying too, y'all. Sometimes I just get so emotional. I just be like, I, I just be like, wow, wow. God is good. I understand the feeling. BB, I love it. She says, thank you, Keish, for this information. This talk has been so valuable to me, to my vision, but to my soul. I love that. I'm here to tell you, you're never too old. Right. BB, you fly. You sure ain't too old, baby. You are fly. Love it. Star says, love you. Love you too, Star. Gianna said, won't he do it? I love it. Lost it all in Hurricane Katrina, including my dad. Relocated to MS. Had to beg for people to sit in my chair. Now I'm overbooked. 5,000 square feet with a salon. You need help. I love it. So you need systems. So you, the first week we show you, you, you really should be in the group. The first week we go through. So I love that she's saying, here's where I am in my business. Okay, now I need help. So the first week is all about finding the level of business. There are certain things you need to do at different levels of your business. So now we need to look at your business and get the systems in place so that things run smoothly, so that you're not an overwhelm and running crazy. Because this is what happens when you get overwhelmed. When I got overwhelmed in my business, instead of replacing myself as an employee, I literally took a six-figure business and left Dallas. All I had to do was hire someone, give them my paycheck. Because my business is set up to make a profit, I would phase myself out of the business from behind the chair, and then my business would have still been going, literally. But I didn't understand systems. There's a system to everything that you do in your business. I have a short hair system. I have a system when people are booking. I have a system, a, a system, the conversation that I have to get them to rebook, to get them to buy the retail. There are systems that you need in place so that your success in it is inevitable. So all you need is systems and I can help you with that. Um, Kylene, thank you. So if you want to get more help, just inbox me on Facebook slash Lakeisha Michelle or just send me an email, LakeishaMichelle at gmail.com. How long have you been doing hair? What's booming right now? I've been doing hair since I was 13. Uh, I've been licensed for six or seven years now. Um, thank you so much, Melva. Finished cosmetology school in December. Been in it 18 years though. Alopecia is what I want to zoom in on. So I started my self-discipline stuff, all of that, when I was in school, guys. It didn't start after I got out. It started, that's why when I hit the ground, I saw success quickly. Literally, because I started everything I'm telling you to do, I started it while I was in beauty school. I'm a Cosmo student, but I'm excited. This year's stylist. I love it. Literally, I started the conversation. I started my self-work while I was in school. When I got to school, I was broke. I was depressed. I was fresh out of, out of, out of an abusive relationship. And I don't say that to, so you can feel sorry for me. It's just that was the state that I was in. So my mentality was all jacked up. Okay? And so I had to work on myself. And then when I finally got through some of the mess, because I still have to deal with all of that, then I was able to see like, okay, I got to run a bit. Like, this is a business. I got to deal with people. How do I get them to come back on a regular basis? What do I say? How do I dress? What do I look like? What am I noticing as I'm working with different people? What don't I like? What do I like? I started assessing myself and my business and finding a gauge. Okay? And then when I diminished everything and moved to California and realized I still needed the business to get to my vision. Then I said, hmm, out of everything that I learned, what do I love? I love short hair. Boom. I knew that was the problem that I was really good at solving. So I said, this time, let me take all my formula and let me just narrow it down. And then I got to assist everything in my short hair business got a system. Like everything. And so now all I do is turn away customers. I don't even have the salon anymore because I don't want it. I don't have time for it, right? And I'm, I don't have the time to manage and put the systems in place to have someone. So it's just crazy. It's a, it feels good to be able to work from wherever. Literally, like, I'm like, oh my gosh. And it's no brag. It's just I get to do that now because I got really clear on where I was screwing up. And then how do I fix this? What, what do I need? Let me stop trying to figure it out. I just pay people. I just pay people to get the information quicker, sooner, faster. That's what I'm here for. If you rocking with me, let's go. Let's do it. We starting on Monday. If you need to make two payment options, your payments must be paid in full before Monday. But I would love to help set that up for you. So you got to go borrow. You got to go make it hustle real quick and come back to me. I get it. I get it. But I guarantee you it's worth it. It's worth it, not because I'm somebody, but because the information will change your life when you apply it, okay? So I'm gonna go, 
But I just wanted to let you guys know that the CEO stylist has 12 slots left. And I say 12, but my inbox is full. Um, so I'm going to get to these messages. You guys can inbox me on Facebook. And, oh wow, you can inbox me on Facebook or LakeishaMichelle at gmail.com. I would love to speak with you and see if this is a good, a good fit for you. Um, this is, you, you'll like, the CEO Styles is everything. Clients are raising their business numbers every week. The members of the CEO Stylist are collecting and building a clientele. They're understanding what systems to implement in their social media strategies. They're making YouTube channels. They're making videos. They're literally changing their lives. They're knowing how to put their money, how to pay themselves, how to pay themselves first. How many of you guys are sick of getting money and paying all your bills first? I teach you how to pay yourself first because you deserve it. You deserve it. You, you, you did the work. You took the time. You poured into the client. You invest in your technical skills. You get paid first. I teach you how to adjust the business so that you're not poor but making money doesn't make any sense that used to blow me away why do I get paid and I just got big bill after big bill where's my check it feels good to pay myself to cut myself a check that feels really good I teach you how to do that we go over that on week three okay so if you're just starting this is perfect if you're just getting it out you and like this is perfect find the money come join the squad Get around people who are at different levels so that you can learn. If you, I have a six-figure salon owner, and she was like, Keisha, oh my God, this is still unnecessary. Because the, the information, you can apply it to whatever level you're at. There are some adjustments. Each level has different tasks they should be focused on. But yo, the solution is there. The resource is there. So I'm going to go, guys, but I just wanted to give you guys the homework. Remember, your homework. Do not, do not. Do not forget your homework. I want you to do it. I want you to go and sit and get quiet and think about what problem you solve. What problem do you solve? What problem do you solve? Okay? What problem do you solve in the beauty industry? What are you good? What can you fix for people? Go and go. I want, and when you figure it out, inbox me. Say, Keish, this is what I think I'm good at. This is what problem I think. What does that sound like? Does it sound right? I get it. Sometimes you need to just say, does it sound right? Inbox me and say, Keisha, does this sound like a, does this sound right? This is what I think I'm good at. Inbox me. Okay? All right, guys. Thank you guys for your, for your time. We're going to go live again tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you're following me on Facebook. You can go actually follow and get a notification when I go live. I am actually in the middle of being a singer and I get to teach you guys. So I got to go get back on stage. And um, that's just that. But. I want to make sure that I'm continually going live all weekend for you guys to give you whatever information that you need to get the message out about the CEO stylist. Uh, I'm a number one international bestseller. I can't even say the word. International bestselling author. Number one international bestselling author. I can't even believe it. I couldn't even get it out. I forgot. That's, that just happened. That just happened. Get the book, The CEO Stylist from Amazon. Yay. You guys are inboxing me. Yay. Okay, so I'm going to get to these messages. You guys, make sure you get the book, Amazon.com. It was free yesterday. It's, it's like $2.99 today. $2.99. Quick read. It's all about getting the CEO stylist. I love it. Jasmine says she read it this morning. It's about furthering the conversation. I just wanted to get the message out to everyone. To like, hello, you're a CEO. You're not just a hairdresser. That was the, the point of the book. And so far, everyone got it. And I'm excited. My goal, my vision is to empower 75,000 women entrepreneurs Really, I want to empower more than that. I believe I can touch thousands and thousands and thousands, like hundreds of thousands of people internationally. And that's my vision. I want to give you this information. Pour it out of me until I can't do it anymore. And then when I can't do it, I want to put somebody in the seat so they can keep doing it. This is a life's work. It's not just something that's trendy. This is a life's work. It's not just something that's trendy. I thank you guys for hanging out with me. I love, can I tell you, I love getting on social media talking to you guys. I love it. I love you, the heartfelt messages. I love it. Thank you for sharing with me and being vulnerable with me online. Thank you guys. The book is great. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys email me, LakeishaMichelle at gmail.com. Get in the CEO stylist. 
Get in the mastermind. It's an investment of 367, but the value will change your life. Don't look at what you lose up front. Some of you guys, I know your circumstances are in front of you and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know. Is this right? I'm nervous. Uh, I know. Do it anyway. I don't know if I'm going to get what I do it anyway. Use my faith. Do it anyway. Talk to some of the members that are already there. They're, they're winning. Everybody, this is the winning team. You know, I feel like Floyd Mayweather be like the money team. Listen, we're the winning team. Everybody can win. No matter where you are, no matter who you are. You don't have to be social media famous. You don't have to be old. You don't got to be young. You don't got to be nobody but you. You're enough. You are enough. Even if you're nervous, it's your turn to jump, jump. You got to get that courage. It's your turn to act like a success, think like a success, in order to become the best. You gotta jump, even if you're nervous. It's your turn to jump, jump, you better get that courage. It's your turn to act like a success. And think like a success in order to become the best. You gotta jump, even if you're nervous. It's your turn to jump, jump. You better get that courage. It's your turn to act like a success and think like a success. In order to become the best, in order to become the best, in order to become the best, you gotta jump. You guys, do it anyway. Whatever is pulling you, do it. Even if you're nervous, even if you're scared, even if you can't put all the pieces together, you don't need to know it all. Don't You don't have to know it all. Just jump. Just jump. Just jump. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thank you guys for all the likes, the shares, the love. I'm getting ready to go. I'll be going live and showing you guys. I'll be showing you guys um, some behind the scenes. How do I sign up? Larissa, inbox me. Make sure you guys inbox me. 12 slots. Y'all, they go fast. Like It's first come, first serve on the slots. Um, inbox me on Facebook or email me, LakeishaMichelle at gmail.com, okay? Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you. I see you guys coming in the inbox, so I'm going to, um, and just comment below. If you don't know how to inbox, just comment below and say, Keisha, call me. Keisha, call me. Okay? And I'll hit you up. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Remember, you are the CEO. You control the direction of your life and your business. You can have a both. Both, both of them can be amazing. You can have both. You can have both. I'm living proof, guys. You can have both. I love you guys. Bye. See you soon.